This video will cover the various settings panes for the Title Block Border tool. This is part of a series of modules on the Title Block Border object introduced in Vectorworks 2018. First, click on the Title Block Border tool in the Dims and Notes tool set. Like many other plugin objects, you can choose a style. This lets you control the appearance of values of parameters from a resource, making it faster to edit just the fields you need. In the Preferences dialog, we can choose the style or adjust the size of the title block before creation. If you use a styled title block, you can edit the style directly from the object info palette by clicking the Style dropdown. This will open the Title Block Border Settings dialog. Under the Sheet Border Settings pane, we can adjust the drawing size and margins of the border. You can also choose to hide or fill the border. Under the Next pane, we can control the grid size and lines that are visible in the sheet border. The Title Block pane will allow us to only draw a title block by clicking the Use as Title Block Only button. The Title Block Margin field will draw a line vertically or horizontally from the Title Block to the Sheet Border and reduce the area of the grid by this margin. If you want to add a counter signature box, we can choose to draw this vertically or horizontally. We can control the graphic attributes of the text in the Title Block so that they all use the same graphic properties of the text used in the Title Block symbol. Otherwise, they'll use the graphics property of the Title Block Border object. If you want to switch the Title Block graphics, you can choose to import the title block graphics and choose a new style. If we just want to adjust the current graphics, we can edit the layout. This will edit the symbol geometry that's used. This is where we would make any changes to the line worker text. The Save Title Blocks Graphics button will save the graphics and linked text into a new symbol, so you can use it in the future. The Project Data pane will show us the project-related fields for this title block. We can see some predefined fields that we can edit. We can also add new fields that we want or remove fields that we don't need. The Sheet Data pane will show us information on the specific sheet that the Title Block Border object is placed. This is where we will see information like the sheet title or number. The Revision Data pane is where we can edit or add the revision data. We can choose the position and size of the revision data, choose what information is visible, and choose how the information is arranged on the sheet. Issue Data can show you the issue data for all the title blocks on the sheet. You can add issue data and choose to apply to this sheet or all sheets. You can also control how many issues are included in the drawing and the spacing between the notes. The North Point pane will let us choose a North Arrow symbol to include on the drawing. Using the Angle field, or the box Use Heliodon Rotation Angle, we can rotate the north arrow so that it's correct for this drawing. We can also position the arrow using the X and Y coordinates, or by using the control point after it's placed on the drawing. You can even display a drawing stamp with a predefined or custom text and append date. Like the north point, the drawing stamp's position can be changed by moving the control point on the drawing. The Document Options pane will give more control over the Issue Data list. These changes will affect all title blocks in the document. 